Hello, I'm getting ready to go on a dive trip. In fact, it's just two days away. So what I'm gonna do is quickly show you what I pack to take my videos. And the first thing I get out um, before I start packing anything else is I start going through my electronic equipment. So that would be, the first thing would be my drone. Now, I used to take my drone in my hand luggage because uh, I was worried about it. But then I invested in this um, case, which has lots of lovely foam inside and is pretty well protected. And for the last couple of trips, it's been fine just traveling in my um, dive bag with my dive kit um, and it's not been damaged. But I'm not a big drone user. So I just have this one mini drone and I send it up, maybe just do a bit of an intro. Um, or if we're looking at dive centers, maybe to get a different, a, a different angle on the dive center. So that's the only reason I use my drone. The battery lasts for about 20 minutes. So I've got about 20 minutes to try to get as much footage as I can that I can try to use in my finished video. Um, that 20 minutes drains this battery completely. And it's the battery out of all my equipment that takes the longest to recharge. So it's the first thing I hook out. It's the first thing I get charging. Okay, so the next thing um, are my batteries. Not my batteries personally, the batteries for the camera. So I shoot in a GoPro. I have two GoPros. I have an older GoPro, a GoPro 9, which I use on board a boat. And that has the mic set up to it um, and it's not in a housing so we can hear the dive briefings and what's going on. And then I've got a GoPro 11, which stays basically in its housing most of the time, apart from when I'm changing batteries. Um, that I use for diving. But this all requires a lot of battery use. So, um, I've got my little patch of batteries. Uh, I've got two different types of batteries in here. Um, you've got the traditional blue ones. So the blue ones, it generally what comes with the camera. And then you have to buy the white ones extra. Um, I would advise getting the white ones because the GoPros are such high spec these days that they, 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 they work at a really high heat. And what happens is it kind of destroys the batteries. That's not a really good one. So we've got these two. I mean, I don't know how well it's gonna pick it up on camera, but they've both had their side, their both sides are popping out, okay? Um, they still hold their charge and as a battery, they still work. But the problem is now they don't fit inside the GoPro anymore or they expand when inside the GoPro and it becomes a real nightmare in trying to pull them out. In fact, this one's probably been, this one's been ripped where I try to get my teeth to pull it out of the GoPro. So um, I don't use these anymore. I have, in fact, these ones have so expanded they don't fit in anything anymore. So they're rubbish really. Um, I do still use a blue one because I've got one that works and I've got one that's not so bad. Um, I use these for my GoPro on the boat, the GoPro 9. Um, it's used for a minimum amount of time. So it's used for getting on the boat, um, being on the boat, boat setting scenery, and then the dive briefings. So it doesn't run very long and one battery lasts the whole day. Um, and so I use a blue one for that. But for my uh, GoPro 11, the one that I dive with, uh, I use the white batteries. So the white batteries are really good. I've used them a number of on dive trip now. They've not expanded at all. Um, they hold their charge pretty well. And uh, uh, yeah, I would advise going out and buying the white batteries. Don't buy any more blue batteries. Honestly, um, they expand and they're useless and they get stuck in the GoPro. So with my white batteries, I... <laughs> Number of one, two, and the third one should be three. I've not got a three on it yet. These are for my dives. Dive number one, dive number two, dive number three. Um, I use a battery of dive, obviously, because I can't change the batteries down there. But one battery um, lasts about 60 minutes for a 60 minute dive is fine. And then no matter if I take a lot of footage underwater or a little, whatever I come up at the end of the dive, I always take that battery out and put battery number two in, so I know I'm diving each dive with a full battery. Um, and another reason why you have them numbered, because when you're on board boat, I mean, I don't know how many dive boats you've been on, but if it's, if, 
I know going out from Bali or going out from Lebongan or Gillies, there's not a lot of space on those dive bags. And you're kind of working in a, in a minimal area. And you've be, yeah, got to be able to open up your dive bag, find your um, lock seal bag with your batteries in and be able to make a quick change whilst not dripping in your dry bag, whilst not dripping on the, on the batteries, whilst not dripping inside the housing, whilst trying to keep the GoPro when it's open, um, moisture free, because you don't want any water dripping in there. And so it's all a big juggling, it's all a big uh, juggling exercise on board the boat. Having the numbers on your GoPro as you're throwing them in the bag, pulling out the next one is really important. So you know, if I pull out number one again, I know I've just done one dive, I know this one's dead, and I use, try to use another one. So that's, that's super important uh, to keep in mind. And that's one of the reasons why I have a GoPro for the land stuff and a GoPro for the water stuff, because I don't wanna, I only break the housing, I only go into the housing to change the batteries, that's all I'm doing. Um, I'm just, because otherwise there's a chance that I can contaminate inside the housing, Hairs getting started dripping water in. It's just a nightmare, especially on a boat. If it's a small boat, the water's quite choppy. So you want to be going into your diet, your, your GoPro housing as minimal amount of times as possible. Um, and all I do is go into it, just, 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 just change the batteries, which is why I have a completely dry um, GoPro with a, with a, what do you call it, a, a mic mod, a mic modification added to it. So the microphone there is working all the time so I can capture those moments of the dive briefing. Because if I was trying to catch the dive briefing with the housing, with the housing on, it'd just be coming all, it'll just be all muffled and you wouldn't be able to hear the dive briefing very well. Um, and so I found that's really important. So having those two GoPro cameras, having your batteries fully charged is super important. So, um, and I make sure all my batteries are fully charged before I leave home. And then when I get to my destination, hotel room, the dive center, whatsoever, the night before I go diving, I'll just pop them in one more time just to make sure they're all fully ready to go. Because, yeah, if you miss that window, you, you, you can't recharge a battery when you're sitting on a dive boat. Well, you, with great difficulty, and then it would be very much. So you have to make sure your batteries are all good to go before you step on that dive boat. So I'm gonna charge these up now. Also, I do use these things because these are dead handy. Um, so you can charge the battery, as you know, inside the GoPro, but you, then you can't use the GoPro. You can't take the GoPro diving if it's charging up the battery. So if I come back, I usually do two dives in the morning. I come back, put dives number one and two in the charger in my room, um, take battery number three in the GoPro, go for the third dive when I come back. One and two are usually charged, um, which means I'm good to go for a night dive or I'm good to go tomorrow morning, pull them out, put in my day, my dry um, GoPro battery and then my third dive battery, charge them up and I've got already, already I've got four, four batteries ready to go for the next dive for the next morning. So that's why I've got, so I would advise, do you want honest advice now? If you dive as much as I do, um, minimum four batteries. Okay, so three dives plus one dry. Um, I do take a third one, uh, sorry, a fifth one along with me, just in case. I used to take all of them with me, but now these are useless because there's always, not always, but sometimes, and this happens to me quite regularly, someone has an issue with their battery on the boat, you can always lend it to somebody to, to make sure they get their holiday, holiday videos. You can, I've got plenty to share, share as it were, and that's always a great help. And I have two of these as well, because obviously when you go to islands and far off destinations, if one goes down, you still want to be able to charge your batteries, not through your GoPro. Okay, so that's my advice and my story with my GoPro batteries. There you go. Okay. All the batteries are now charged. I've put my drone back in its case now. That's all ready to go in the dive bag. My GoPro batteries and my ch the chargers are all in there. Now they're ready to be transported and they'll come with me in my hand luggage 
Um, next, battery-wise, is when I'm when I'm shooting the video, I have two torches um, with me. So they, they have two torches, two batteries, and they need to be charged as well. So they come with their own charging device. Works really well. Problem is, um, I've had them a couple of a couple of years now, and as you can see, the back ends of them have got a little bit rusty. Uh, so what I found out is a little bit of really, really light sandpaper takes some of the some of the rust away. Um, so they fit in there, and they will be charged up right now. I make sure both are fully charged for when we get on the boat. So I will do that right now. So they're the next things to be charged. Also, for going, um, I add a little bit of grease. I put a little bit of WD-40 onto here because these get really tight to screw on, screw off, and the batteries are coming out. So the batteries last. So these are quite good torches. So the batteries last uh, at least two dives. So I'll do my two morning dives. I'll get up, we'll go back to the center. I'll recharge the batteries. So whilst we're um, resting, the batteries re re will recharge or will, or will recharge enough to get a third dive out of them. These are great torches, as in they're a bit heavy, they're a bit big, but they have this extension. So it, it goes, this would be spotlight, and this is kind of diffused. Um, the diffusion works really well on my videos, having used a couple of other different types of lights. These, these seem to work really well. They're not super bright, so they, they don't pick up the subject and almost burn it out. They kind of just light the area enough to get good video footage. So I really like these. I'm not in a rush to change them. When I do have some money, I will change them um, to something smaller. As you can see, they're quite big, um, particularly with the bit added on the end. So they're quite large, they're quite cumbersome. Uh, Travel-wise, underwater, they're not really an issue at all, but uh, packing them, they're heavy, they're big, they're not ideal, so I do want to get some more, I want, do want to get shorter, shorter lights designed for videography. These aren't, but they're diffusion, the one where you put it straight in, not the spotlight, the diffusion one, it works really well. I think it gives a really good lighting to the subjects down there. Anyway, I'm gonna quickly get these onto charge now. Okay, so now both batteries are fully charged and ready to go. So what I'll do, I won't, I will take this one box with me. So just one torch came in this box. Um, I keep the torches attached. The reason I keep the torches attached is because I kind of modified it a little bit to make sure the torches stay tightly in there. I've actually used an old mask strap and have wrapped it around to make it thicker. That keeps the torches on the, on the arm so much better. So they kind of stay as it is. Um, there's no, no battery in there. So what I'll do is I'll pack these like this. What I usually do is pack them round in a circle. So it takes up less room. That's how they're gonna go in my dive bag. Okay, this is the other one. Okay, once again, I guess we can smash it around like that. I'll pack them in like that, so they're pretty tight. Make sure I've got these little nuts in there, because they're what's gonna to attach to the tray. So they're good to go, two of them. The tray itself, this is the tray. Um, I will very quickly make sure I've got all the parts 
to attach the GoPro camera. So this is kind of, I brought this second hand. It's a little bit worn and I've changed this out to fit my GoPro a lot better, pulling it tighter to the tray itself. But I have the tray like this is how I dive. Keeps the GoPro super steady. And of course, these arms fit in here like so, both sides. So I've got to pack that. So I'm just going to check that out one more time. Let's see how this fits on. Make sure it does fit on. Okay. So as you can see, uh, my GoPro mount fits nicely in there for ready for my GoPro to sit on the tray itself. Okay, so that looks good to go. So as you can see, so this is how this is how I've packed my um, torch box. They've got the two torch batteries in there, two charger leads, two chargers. So that's good to go. So that's now good to go as well. Doing well. The tray, so I don't travel with this attached because things break. But the tray, the tray itself is good to go. And it is showing um, signs of age, wear and tear. So the next thing I'm gonna do, I've got my GoPro battery charged. Got my GoPro, so this is the one I'm gonna take diving with me. It's a uh, GoPro 11 Black. So what the first thing we do is just pop the battery in, make sure there's, an, there's a card in there, memory card. Pop the battery in. I'm just gonna check it's working and turn it on. I'm gonna get the settings back because I've obviously used this for something else. And I've got, um, I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but I've marked it myself um, under water. So I've got a water one on there. And as it always does, because I've had the GoPro off for a little while, it's gonna ask me to quickly set up the date. Okay, now I've reset the date, I can actually go into the water profile on there. Just make sure I've got all the settings that I want. Next thing, I'm gonna check my housing. So, um, I've had a backscatter macro lens adapter added to my housing. Um, first time diving with it. Has no lens in it at the moment. Just up. What I try to do is look through there and see if it needs a wipe, and it probably does. So. I have my uh, lens cloth, which always comes in super handy. I'm just going to give that a little rub round. That's pretty good. Okay, I think that's a pretty good. I think that's nice and clear. Little smudge at the bottom there. Now I'm gone. I think we're all good to go. Check it in. Check it. So stuff can get a little frustrating at times with the GoPros. I mean, they, I think they're great, but they're, um, they can be a little delicate. I think we're all good. So I think my camera is good to go for diving. So that's really super positive. So I'm going to remove that out of there. I think that's good. Okay. Put this away. So I travel with this box here. This does go into my hand luggage, but it's, once again, it's the type that has the foam inside, and this is where I carry a number of my cameras. So I would take three cameras with me. 
Um, you've just seen the GoPro 11. That's my main one. This is the one I'm shooting underwater with. Um, then I've also got somewhere in my box. There it is. So I've got the GoPro 9, which I've been talking about. So once again, I need to check that it's working okay. Um, it's been, it looks a little battered, and it is a little battered, because this is the one that's thrown in my dry bag all the time, whipped out, quickly there, ready for a dive briefing, quickly bringing it out, there's a bit of scenery, that kind of idea. Um, as you can see, the mic looks a little bit tatty on it, still works perfectly well. Uh, so I need to check the battery on this as well, make sure it's all working. Do, 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 do. So that mod comes off and we're left with the GoPro 9. I'm gonna hoof the battery out of the GoPro 11. Stick it in the 9. Check it's got a memory card. It's all good. Stick the mod back onto it. The mod is great. It, it picks up great, um, Audio, so I'm really happy with it. Turn it on. You'll also know, you'll also note that I've got one of the GoPro fish eyes on it. I've put a GoPro fish eye on it. I'll just quickly set the time. Okay, so time now set, I can play around with it. Um, this one doesn't let me, once you put the, Fish eye lens on. You don't have a lot of options to mess around with. This one also has a lock on it, swipe to unlock. Tap to unlock. So once again, I'll just very quickly check that everything I want on here is good. So now that's all good to go. Once again, you can see, you can see um, they've definitely been in the wars. Okay, pull the battery out. I think we're good to go. So those are my two main, two main cameras, two main cameras. This one, the land one, this one underwater. I think they're both good to go. Just tested them, seem fine. So I'm gonna put this one away. He's good to travel, happy with that. Okay, then I have one more camera. I have two more cameras, but one more camera in the in my dive box. So I have this Insta360. It's one of the early Insta360s because I wanted to experiment with 360 video. Um, still not quite there with it yet, but I'm experimenting with it more and more and getting used to editing it. But it is a little different. So as you can see, I have this. So I will quickly make sure the batteries are fully charged for this one. So it's the last lot of batteries I've got to do, I think. It's not quite as easy as the GoPro. So this is that battery. I've got two of them. So I'll be quickly charging them up now. Also with this one is for the, three, for the diving 360 pictures. Just fit that in there. So with this Insta360 one, this guy had the battery taken off. Um, it can sit upright and it sits in this, which is interesting to dive with. Um, and especially trying to get that 360 look without getting the side of the housing can be interesting. I think I'm getting better at it, but I think I'm still preferring shooting with my GoPro and doing the traditional um, front view. But this comes in handy. This makes really good shorts, and that's where I've mostly been using the footage for this. Um, because the colouring is not the same as the GoPro, even though I do do post colour correction, um, it's still not 100% the same. And so this is definitely better for, for me for doing. Um, shorts rather than the full the full video.
So there's that. I'll quickly charge up those two batteries. Ah, then another issue with this is uh, unless, unless it comes with some sort of cut charger, the, the camera actually has to be plugged onto the battery to recharge it, which I think is a downfall because obviously you've got to have, I mean, if you have enough of these, then you can just keep replacing them. But when you want to charge, when you want to charge it up, there's, there's, and unless there's some sort of thing you can buy, it sits on and charges. At the moment, I am, I'm left with charging it through the camera itself. So there's that. So I'll quickly get them on to charge. And apart from the camera I'm shooting on right now, these are the last things to charge up. Okay, so now the two batteries for this camera are fully charged. I can start packing everything away. So I've got my camera box. So let's put a couple of things in there first. The first thing that's gonna go in there is a spare spare housing for the GoPro. That's gonna squeeze in there like so. Next thing that goes in is the housing for the Insta360. Should I wanna use that as a front traditional uh, camera, front view traditional camera. So that goes in there as spares. Goes on top there. Goes in top there. Okay, next thing that goes in on the bottom is my GoPro 9. Okay, so this is the, uh, with the modification with the microphone and the fisheye lens. So that's going to sit in there like that. And on the bottom layer is, that's the Insta360 that's just been recharged. That's all good to go. That sits in that layer just there. So that's the bottom layer. Next layer sits in that like this. So it has the traditional, traditional lens for the Insta360. It also has the battery pack should I want to take it diving. So the battery pack lives in that one there. Lens lives in that one there. Okay. Then I've got my GoPro housing with the backscatter macro attached. I, it travels with the GoPro actually inside it. I'm going to quickly load that up now. So that's good to go. That sits in there like that. And then the rest of it is dedicated to the um, underwater housing for the Insta360. It sits in there like that. And that pops in there like that. So that's kind of my camera bag packed. What I've got to take in there. Let's go and in an extra bag. Um, I add in this part as well, so this will be for the Insta360 for the dive housing to go on a stick. So that doesn't go on my tray, that's on a stick. Okay, I think we're all good. And then just the camera clean on top. It's down, it's good to go. Finally, so. We've got our drone fully charged, packed. We've got our torches, our lights, fully charged. They're packed, or ready to be packed. Got the tray, got the GoPro batteries and chargers, just packed our cameras. So they're all good to go. Final things, just as important. So I'm taking with me one of these, and one of these, there's selfie sticks. This one's a GoPro own selfie stick, nice and thick, okay? Great for diving. Um, usually when I take the 360 down, it's on here. I tuck this into my jacket and I can still use my tray. Our, we've got this one. So this one's an, in, an invisible stick 
for the 360. Not, I probably need to work a bit more with this rather than having the non-invisible stick. Uh, so I'm going to take that along as well. If we do get to use the 360, um, we're going to try with the invisible stick. But it doesn't give you a lot of a lot of length anyway. So there's that one as well. And the great thing about this one is it, it attaches onto you as well, which is really important when you're back and rolling and that kind of thing into the into the water. Um, I've got these new flip. Um, filled. So these are these are my macro lenses, which are brand new. Not used them yet. Going to do this one first time. So I'm taking them with me. They attach to the housing of the GoPro that you saw earlier. So they're really important. Taking them. Um, I also have a box full of bits and bobs. So these. I'm going to hold it up they're all falling out so I don't know if you can see we've got microphone stuff in there um, more cleaners more lenses all the GoPro attachments that I could possibly need got that spare battery for the 360 in there so it's all little bits and pieces that I probably need to do repairs or need to do um, to add or to take part stuff so that's my little kit box so that it's super important. Um, card reader, really important to uh, download all your footage of, at the end of each day. So I download all my footage. I need the card reader. And um, it's an expensive way to do things, but for redundancy, I take a couple of hard drives with me. So one backs up the other. These are rather large. Uh, they're, they're four terras each, so I won't be using them so much probably for this next trip, but um, they're brand new at the moment, so I'm just going to take them, just going to back up, um, download, and then back up my footage each day on them. I take, I, I take a Mac with me also, so I, I take my Mac, plug it all into my Mac, download it all, all onto there. And I think that's it. I think that's the electrical, all my electrical equipment for my camera um, to make the videos that I use. This has probably gone a little bit longer than I thought, but I, I hope it, I hope it's all useful to you. Or if not, you can take bits and pieces and make it your own. But that's what I'm doing at the moment to create the videos that you see on my channel. Okay. Um, this is the bit where you say, please like, subscribe, share um, my videos. Um, I don't do these, I guess you go behind the scenes or how, how do you do it type things. But I've answered enough questions now in the comments that I thought it was worth putting out there, um, the equipment I take with me and how I take it with me. So I think I take minimum amount of stuff, but it still adds up to be quite significant um and make of that what what you wish but that's how i make my videos now i've got to start packing my dive kit which is just as important um but it's easy i throw that in a bag and we're good to go okay so thank you very much for watching and please um uh, subscribe and i'll see you again very soon bye for now